All right, we got another question here. Okay. We'll wait for John to respond. Yeah. John will pop up. But we got this one. Uh, question. I'm waiting for two 2023 GTX 300 Limited. If c can ever get them to Montana. Well, you're out, you're out there. <laughs> Would a battery disconnect create any problems using a battery maintainer rather than removing the battery? Uh, like a battery tender? Um, no, you don't have to pull the battery out. Uh, I, I presume, well, this is for your extended winters, which are what, eight months long. Um, I'm joking, but still, uh, if you're going to, if you're going to keep your ski on a battery tender, uh, you don't necessarily have to do a battery disconnect because you can access the battery rather simply and, and just take a Phillips head screwdriver and disconnect it, just pull them off. You don't need to rewire anything. I wouldn't touch the factory harness and just put a battery tender on it. You should be okay. Um, in fact, the battery tender, if you put it on a slow trickle, you don't even have to disconnect it from the ski because it's, it's not, it's not, you're not going to have that, that, uh, su- that cyclical charge. So you should be okay just putting the battery tender on the ski while it sits in your garage. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.